Coach Schaefer. Drag swags in the house, Drexel Dragons. Here we go. First off, what do you think of the uh, innovative rules here for a high school tournament? I think it's awesome. I mean, I think that the more you can get high school kids wrestling college style rules, um, you know, that just get gets them uh, starting off at a higher higher pace, you know, and ready to transition into college a lot better. Looking at riding time, how do you feel about riding time and actually getting to see guys try and earn a point doing riding? I, I love it. I mean, uh, you know, Pennsylvania is known to be good on top, and uh, I'm from Pennsylvania, so I, I think this is a great rule. You know, I, I, it. it worked well for me in college and I love seeing kids in high school going after it, being aggressive on top. Some of these guys have probably been used to in season being able to play the edge on the mat. Yeah. You really can't play the edge here because you know the, the mat has been extended. One supporting point of one guy in the, doesn't even have to actually be inbound to be in the cylinder. Right. How much you like that? That's awesome. It, it extends the wrestling, uh, you know, the wrestling field so much, and you know, kids just get, they got to you got to wrestle through every position. You can't just escape out of bounds. I, I, I think it's great. Coach Esvedo and you guys, uh, you're in your third season with him, right? Yep, this is our third season. When you look at you know where the program was to where you are now, are you guys progressing how you want to be, or do you feel like you're a little behind? Where do you guys feel like you are in the in the plan? I guess. I think uh, you know it would have been nice to have. You know, one of our guys placed at the NCAs. Uh, you know, we had our 197 pounder was highly ranked all year, and uh, he wrestled. He re had a tough draw at NCAs. Wrestled tough, but came up a little short. Um, we did have a true freshman, or a redshirt freshman, Kevin Devoy, 133, make the finals of the IWA and uh, compete. I think I wouldn't say that we're ahead of plans, but I don't think that we're you know super behind either. When you guys look at a school like you guys, a lot of people don't know much about Drexel, but your campus and Penn's campus abut. They touch. Yeah. You can. Look Literally walk to the dual meet a couple hundred yards, uh, but knowing the type of institution you are, what type of student athletes are you guys looking for? Uh, we're basically trying to recruit um, high academics, you know, much, much like the Ivies, Drexels a lot, uh, like the Ivies um, and uh, military institutions, the same type of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we you know we compete against Penn this year. We had the battle of the cheesesteak trophy. We had a big cheesesteak trophy that was like you know <laughs> five, four foot tall with a big cheesesteak on the top. So it's, it's good, you know. You like that rivalry? Is that a good rivalry to have? Yeah, I think you know we just started it up uh, our first year. Uh, you know, really kind of like going back and forth, home and away. So this was our second, or, or our second year. This is our second year doing it. So we're gonna really try to make it a big deal. You know, try to get free cheesesteaks or something. I don't know, do some <laughs> Philly rivalry. And you guys, you know, the, the NCAs was there your first year there. Yep. What was that like for you guys? The NCAs, uh, being in Philly is awesome. I mean, it's so much easier. And this year, like, we had conference, EIWAs were at Penn. Our guys get to, you know, be at home. They don't have to travel. I, I just think it's it's great, you know. Philly's a great city to have the NCAs. Everything was so easy there. Do you guys, do, do you walk to that? Do they get on a bot? What do you do? Yeah, it was, it's pretty crazy. We, uh... When we did our first duel against Penn, we, we walked to the to the away duel meet. I've never done that before in my life. We walked from Drexel to Penn. It's only one block away. And the EIWAs, we walked. Same thing. You could have done that in college, though, with Duquesne almost, right? Yeah, before, yeah, before, before they, they dropped, dropped, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah, it was a little bit further. What's the difference between Pittsburgh, you know, the city of Pittsburgh and the city of Philadelphia? What, what would you say is the biggest difference? Uh, Philly, you, it's, it's bigger. You know, it's, it's like quadruple the size you know so there's a that whole much bigger yeah it's it's like the fifth largest city in the country wow pittsburgh's kind of small and like a little bit more secluded when you, you know you're coming into philly when you drive in there's houses and buildings everywhere ultimately you know what do you guys got to do to kick down that door you know rutgers kicked down that door this year they got that first all-american might have taken them you know it took them eight years i think it took coach goodell eight years what do you guys got to do going into year four to kick down the door get a couple all-americans well we had we had a young team this year we started seven freshmen in our lineup and uh next year we're probably going to be about the same you know seven freshmen and soft eight eight nine freshmen sophomore you know um we're going to have a lot of young kids those guys just need experience and they need to prepare you know be prepared to go out there and win the big one you know some of these other programs like Cornell, they do a great job of that. And that's what we, you know, we're going to try to work on this off season is getting our guys prepared to win that big match. All right, there's a lot going on, a lot of wrestling. You got anything else for me? Nope, go flow.